So here's the crazy story of the 1950s quiz show scandals that shook America. Imagine you're at home, chilling on your sofa, watching a game show, thinking it's all playful, good fun. But behind the scenes, it's a whole other story. A story of deception and manipulation. Back in the 50s, TV game shows were the hot ticket, and everyone was tuning in. A couple, especially to the $64,000 question and 21, were so popular, they had people glued to their TV sets. Then, in August 1958, a guy named Jack Barry, who hosted 21, found himself in hot water. Apparently, he'd been supplying certain contestants with the answers before the show. This guy was literally messing with the outcome of the game. He wasn't alone, though. There was this other guy, Herb Stemple, a contestant on that show, who came out saying he'd been given the answers, too. But guess what? This wasn't just on one occasion, nah, this was over several episodes. You'd think people would lose their minds over this, right? Well, some did. Mainstream networks initially brushed it off, calling it sour grapes, but the more people who talked, the less they could ignore it. And when a Doubleday executive admitted to using the shows to promote their books, that really stirred the pot for a public outcry. Eventually, this mess actually made it all the way to the US Congress. They launched full-scale probes into these allegations. It didn't end there either after the investigations. None other than the New York District Attorney started delving into the matter as well. Long story short, Congress found out the sponsors and producers were pretty much in cahoots rigging these shows. They were controlling everything, from the questions to the contestants' responses. They were gaming the system and duping ordinary people, all for the sake of ratings and money. These findings turned the public's trust in television upside down. People were outraged, feeling betrayed by the shows they loved. Even lawmakers were left stunned, and action had to be taken. So the mighty U.S. Congress did what it does best. In 1960, it laid down new rules, making it illegal for anyone involved in the production of game shows to rig the outcome. Talk about a game changer, huh? The shockwaves from these scandals went far and wide. Several popular programs were canceled, careers were ruined, and the once thriving genre of TV quiz shows was left in shambles. It took a pretty long time for them to recover. However, they eventually did, and quiz shows rebounded in the 60s and 70s, although with a lot more rules, regulations, and oversight. All of this thanks to a bunch of cheating producers who thought they could fool the American public. So there you have it, the drama-filled tale of the 1950s quiz show scandals. A real-life saga that rocked America, redefined its entertainment industry, and slapped rigorous rules on the game show genre. It's a grim reminder that deceit, no matter how well-clothed in the fabric of fun and entertainment, cannot withstand the test of truth.